in the days of Herod, the king, Jesus was born. This is always the problem. Anytime God creates a great destiny, he puts by the side a great enemy. Jesus was born in the days of who? Why not the days of angels? If you know you sent me to fulfill a destiny, why planting an enemy around me? In the days of Herod, that was when Jesus was born. Little wonder why you look around your life and your family. You are surrounded with so many Herods around you. You are asking yourself a question. How come these enemies keep multiplying? Child of God, the presence of Herod is the proof that the king is also around. I said the presence of Herod is a proof that the king is also around. Anytime you see enemies around you, your enemies reveals your eminence. I say your enemies reveals your eminence. Am I talking to somebody? It is obstacles that prove that miracles are around. Hear me and hear me, child of God. I came to take you back to God's original intention for your life. After now, what God has created and formed you to be, you shall become it double. When God speaks, take your seat. When God speaks a word, in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 he says so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void but shall prosper there unto in the thing where which I sent it in Revelation chapter 2 verse 7 Revelation chapter 2 verse 11 Revelation chapter 2 verse 17 Revelation chapter 2 verse 29 Revelation chapter 3 verse 6 Revelation chapter 3 verse 13 Revelation chapter 3 verse 22. It says the same thing. He that has an ear. Let him hear what the spirit 